Okay, so I think all of you have the data file here. In this part, we will run some basic statistical analysis. All of we have the data. And so when this is our main data file name, right? Whenever we will be giving some command, most of the time we have to mention from where we are picking the data. Let's remember this. We have to always mention the name of the data. So first, let's say we want to see some of the variable names in our data. So names and then my data. We get the names of variables, right? If you want to see the data, how do you see that? You just come here in the environment and click here. The data will open, right? We can see the types of data. Here, one thing we can just note down, a store size is two groups, one and two and yeah mo most of the other variables are continuous variables okay and now let's say we want to see the first few rows and then you will give a command head head and your data data file name so if you run it i think it gives something like 10 or something like that six, six. yeah but let's say you want to see not six but you want to see ten mm -hmm. how do you do that you do it like this my data third bracket all the after comma it is the comma is column so we keep after comma blank all the columns but give us ten rows mm -hmm. right okay. that's what we get here up to ten rows right one, for navigation, one, one easy way is to use these buttons here. You click this one, it goes down. You click this one, it comes up. Okay. And you want to see some basic descriptive statistics. You write summary, my data. You will get summary of all the variables. Something like this, right? We have summary mean. First quarter, median, mean, uh, no, first is minimum, then first quarter, median, mean, third quarter, maximum, right? But we don't have a standard deviation. We don't have cardosis or skewness, right? Maybe we are interested in those as well. But that comes a bit later, okay? Then you want to see maybe standard deviation, you just click SD. You pick a very, you remember, we pick a variable using this dollar symbol. So we want to see standard deviation of only cells. That's what we get here. Okay. Uh, summary of my data cells. What will you give? What will you get? Standard deviation for summary, we get again mean first quarter, median, mean uh, third quarter and maximum value, right? You want to see the length of your, of your variable. How many observations? You suddenly have a, got a new data. There are like thousands of observation. It will take you a couple of minutes to scroll down. You want to see the length. So you just click here. You just write length and the variable name. 30, right? So now, as we said earlier, and when, you, when we use the by default command summary, then we, get, we don't get a standard de uh, deviation, cardosis, skewness, those kind of information but we may be interested in those as well so we will use this package called psych if you have installed it you don't have to do it again if you have not just run the installation command okay and this package covers a lot of basic statistical analysis tools including factor analysis and uh, yeah many other things you can just go to help and psych for detail what it can do you can just search uh, in google psych package you will get get a pdf file with all the commands it has i think it has like it is like 200 pages or something like that so it offers so many uh, but today we are using this uh, library uh, this command psych this this package psych for the first time so we have to uh, get it running with the library command which we do and if you see help, you will see lots of things here about the package. But now, 
when we want to see summary under the this under 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 the psych package we use the command describe what was it we were using before summary but now we use describe now you see we get much more information we get uh, medium mean standard deviation median trimmed do you do you know what is trimmed trimmed i haven't really checked it then mad i haven't really checked that as well the minimum maximum range skewness cardosis and, and the standard error okay these things we know but trimmed and mad i haven't really checked uh so you see we get a lot more information when we use the describe function under the psych package if you want only for one variable just describe data name and cells okay trimmed mean okay normally we use that for for forecasting mad we use it a lot we heard about this command sort before right so we say sort then from this data use this variable right sorts from lowest to highest it sorts from lowest to highest right sometimes it is useful when you have categorical variables you want to say you want to see how many how many male how many female how many who, which a with a bachelor degree how many with a master degree right those kind of variables you you use the command table okay just write table here we had one and two 18 are small 22 12 are large i think one was small and two was large but anyway then we want the table with two variables one with the store size one with temperature we can have a combination so let's say when the temperature is 12 we had like one here for this one and zero when temperature was 17 then people were buying three people were buying from uh store 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 small store two were buying from large store something like that so we can combine it's like a cross tabulation okay